Hi guys, this is particularly for Declan and Ander. It's a little book that Grandma found up in the attic again, and it belonged to your dad. It was called Oscar Otter. Now, I don't know how much you know about otters, probably a lot, but they live by rivers, and when they're in the water, they're very, very fast. But when they're on land, uh, they move very slowly, kind of clumsily. So that's why they're usually uh, building their homes and things uh, by a river or a lake or a pond. And they love to play. Otters are very, very playful creatures. So again, Oscar Otter. Oscar was a young otter. He lived by the side of a pond. With the other otters, he would often play on the otter slide, coming down the bank with a great rush, going splash into the water. One day, when he was on the slide alone, he came to a corner and smack, he ran right into a tree. What's the big idea? Oscar asked the beaver. That tree is in my way. Hmm, sorry, said the beaver. But winter's coming. I have to build a house. And the beaver began to chew down another tree. Oscar told his father what had happened. So build another slide, said his father, his mouth full of fish. There are lots of places. All right. I will, said Oscar. I'll show that beaver. I'll build a slide that goes way up into the mountains there. I wouldn't do that, his father replied. You will get too far from water. Who needs water, said Oscar. You need water, said his father. Other animals will catch you if you go too far away. But Oscar didn't listen. He began to build a secret slide. I won't tell anyone, he said, that no one can catch me. He built it up and up through the woods and into the mountain. It took a long time and at the end of each day, he would slide down the mountain. You know how mountains have snow way up on the top. When at last he had built his slide as far as it would go, he looked around and saw the land below him spread over like a map. Oh, look how high he is. You can see the whole land below him. Hmm, this looks interesting, he said. I think I'll explore. And he started off down the mountain. Pretty soon, he was lost. All the trees looked alike, and he couldn't tell where he had come from. Then, he had a bright idea. I came down the hill, so if I go up the hill again, I'll find my slide. He started up the hill. But there was something he didn't know. He was being watched by a fox. Who, in his turn, was being watched by a wolf. Who was being watched by a mountain lion. Who if you can believe it, was being watched by a moose. And the moose thought he was in a circus parade. The moose gave a moose call to see if there was another moose in the parade. Ah! Well, this made all the other animals jump. The fox Jumped at Oscar. The wolf jumped at the fox. 
and the mountain lion leaped at the wolf. But Oscar had found his slide and he jumped onto it, followed by the others. Except the moose. The moose thought they were all crazy and walked away. As Oscar came near the pond, there was a sharp turn and another tree that the beaver had cut down. Help, cried Oscar. Please, please help me. Quick as a flash, the beaver made a ramp with his tail and Oscar zoomed over. The beaver hurried off and the others crashed into the tree. But Oscar landed safely in the pond. You're late for supper, his father said. Where have you been? Late, said Oscar. I almost was supper, a fox's supper. Next time, said his father, will we try to be not quite so smart? What next time, replied Oscar. I am happy here, right where I am. And that's the end of the story of Oscar Otter. Now, Grandma found a joke for you guys about otters that wasn't real easy to do. What do you call an otter with a carrot in each ear? Anything you want, because he can't hear you. Have a good day, guys. Love you.